Hello hacker, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to hack any Windows network exploiting LLMNR. And you might be asking yourself, what is LLMNR, what is it used for? Well, it's used for two things. First thing is it's used for network, dis network file share discovery. Um, so it will send LLMNR packets out and try to discover file shares on a network. And secondly, it's used for auto proxy configuration and that's what we're going to be exploiting today so just to show you where that setting is here's our client here's our test client under tools internet options connections and then land settings you'll see just automatically detect settings and if that's enabled on your device you could potentially be vulnerable to this exploit so the way it works is the browser is calling out to each client on the network hey, do you have my settings? Do you have my settings? Um, where are my settings at? And what we're going to do is respond back, hey, I have your settings. And when we respond back to that client, the client's going to respond back to us with this NTLM version 2 hash to try to authenticate against us to bring those settings down. But when it does that, we're going to intercept those, um, those hashes and take them offline to crack. So to, use, to, to exploit this, we're going to use a tool called Responder. Um, you can do Responder-H for all the different options. It has other, other available options here. But the basic format would be Responder-I for interface. Type in your interface. W for WPAD and V for verbose. So we'll set that up and now it's listening for events. So unknowingly on the network, we're listening to all the packets for LLMNR. And here's our little client, maybe it's Starbucks, maybe on a corporate network. He's about to surf to a website. And when, we, when he goes to that website, you'll notice that we're intercepting the NTLM version 2 hashes. It's just that easy. So on the back end now that we have these hashes, what we can do is pipe them into John and crack it and get the password. So let's see how that works. So the root for this is under users share and a responder and uh, where these particular settings are where these capture packets are stored under logs so what we can see now under http if we cat that out here's all of our here's all the ntl version 2 hashes that we collected so now it's as easy as firing up john piping that file into john hitting go and as you can see here's our super secret username which matches super secret here's our domain here's our hash and now here's our user here's our cracked hash pretty simple right so the next step now if you wanted to access this device well we can go to metasploit and we're going to use exploit All right, so what we're going to do now is type in that username and password that, that we got. So What else do we need here? I believe that's everything for up there. And at this point, we just need to figure out um, what our, our IP address is, which we are 34, right? So So 
So that's pretty much it at this point. Let's go ahead and exploit. Oh. So we need to set our R host. Now the R host, if you go back to what this file name is, you can see that each individual, well, let me do LS. So each individual capture, pa capture packet has the IP address of the target. So what we would do is, do is put that IP address in. Just that simple. So what we were able to do now is uh, take that NTLM version 2 hash, crack it, pipe it into Merterpreter, and send it across. Well, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, like, subscribe, and once again, I'll see you in the pipes.